Lies of P is a Souls-like that's not from From Software, which I'm going to pretend I've been a fan of since birth. This is Pinocchio but darker while everything about Pinocchio, the book, can be found and appreciated with darker tones. This is also my first attempt at a proper review of something. Lies of P starts with Pinocchio waking up called by Sophia. I've heard his team Woodman from Wizard of Oz but who cares, I call him Pinocchio. This game takes the Souls combat system which includes thinking and attacking slow and steady instead of bonking your way to victory but implements new stuff, like the parries that break enemy weapons, guard regain which regenerates your health if you deal damage after blocking attacks and as you might imagine this makes it better to block compared to dodging but at the end of the day every situation is different you've got the legion arms which go from electric and firearms to acid and strings that allow you to fly around the graphics are pretty cool classic realistic graphics while also clear that they're not real world footage i play with graphics on low because you might already imagine this piece of technology cannot run games like that but even on low settings it looks pretty good the boss designs are pretty cool and disgusting in the sense of terrifying but cool the characters have nice designs and the many clothes you can choose are great the game has darker visuals like more depressive things instead of happier and more colorful Disney-like visuals. Every place you visit, like the mall or even the cathedral, are really good demonstrations of the scary places Pinocchio has to visit, and they're also filled with zombies for you to fight. Even when you're wandering around the city, you can interact with normal people who are just dealing with the disease and whatnot. The gameplay is what you would expect from a Souls-like, slow attacks and thinking instead of brute forcing your way around. I honestly find this interface better than Elden Ring and Dark Souls, it was way easier for me to understand and get familiar with everything. During the gameplay you'll be encouraged to parry more than dodge, since you can actually negate all damage by perfect blocking or even taking advantage of guard regain, which is the faded health you have after you block, which you can recover by dealing damage. You can even break enemy weapons, like swords and axes, I have yet to find out if you can break something's tongue or fists, but I honestly doubt it being possible. It's pretty satisfying and not that hard to get used to. Pretty enjoyable to search the corners of the map and learning the enemy's patterns and getting rid of them. I've actually gotten mad while fighting some bosses and it took me more tries to beat the mad donkey in the first try than I would like to reveal, but I didn't break my controller and managed to platinum the game. So pretty enjoyable experience. The story is pretty cool. You've got alchemists and normal people being caught in the mix, puppets realizing they can't think and people falling in love with puppets. Also the Riddler is one of the coolest things or maybe I'm just a way too depressed kid. The characters actually think and behave like they think, to the point in my first playthrough I got the best ending not by following a tutorial but by actually caring about the character's well-being, which is cringe but it's just another day. There's all the characters which you can talk to that aren't on the main storyline but they're pretty interesting to learn about. Anyways, you can either read all these things or watch some videos on them, but overall pretty good characters. The songs in the game are pretty good. You've got the records which you can play at the hotel and the overall ambience and songs that play throughout the game are pretty cool and fitted. The sounds the enemies make and special effects are on point. The voice acting is good, you have no irrits from Kingdom Hearts 2 here. Once you reach the end you can play New Game Plus, which is a great thing, since there's upgrades you haven't had the possibility of unlocking until now and you've still got a bunch of side quests you can go on. It's pretty satisfying to have all the powers you can hold on and show them off against every single enemy even though they're stronger as well. There's a lot of content to go through, I'm just an average player that doesn't really care about getting every single thing on the games, but I've done it with Lies of P, so I guess that's a good indicator. The game runs really well and you can go up to 240 FPS, granted my PC isn't as savage as I am broke as hell, I've still managed to have a great experience with the game. The developers are actually pretty consistent with the updates. You've got the difficulty patches, apparently close after launch date, and during my playthrough I've had some updates going on, so you can expect any problems you report will be patched real quick. The community of the game is pretty helpful, you can easily get help on whatever you need. Understanding what things mean is pretty easy, not only because the game explains stuff, but also because you've got a bunch of online guides, so you won't get lost. Overall, I've loved the game, there's not really anything for me to complain about. They've taken Pinocchio's story and made something great with it, they took the Souls formula and made something new, 
while respecting the best. I recommend this game to anyone who's thinking about getting into Souls games, Souls games veterans and people who just like good games. Comment what you think about the game and whether or not I'm completely glazing it or you think it's that good. See ya!